Hello again, everybody, and welcome to part two of Shadowgate. When we left off, we were trying to f we were trying to get past the uh, ice elemental. I figured what I'm supposed to do with the ice elemental. First, I'm gonna see if I can use this key in here to just unlock the door and just walk by. I don't know if it'll be that simple. It might. Use the key on what? Like this door over here. There is no lock in which to try the door. Well, let's see. Let's use this torch on the door. Nothing happened. All right. Um, I think that's a spider up there. I wonder what happens if I put this torch up by that. The flame is much too small to melt the ice and free the creature. I'm not sure if I want to free that creature, but I don't think there's anything else in this room for me, so I'm gonna head back for now. Head back over here and... That was- that was weird. A series of ancient doors encircled the small hallway. It looks like as if a battle may have been fought here long ago. Quite possible. Let's save again. Let's see... Okay, save that. I more than likely could open this door. I can. Let's see what's in here. Alright, we got some more... Let's see, let's just take these torches. We're gonna need them later, probably. Unlike other torches you see in this, these caves, this torch is welded into the bracket. What about these guys? What about you? Let's see, yep, these seem to be... Alright, I'm gonna just use this torch and try to light these. More than likely, I just need to... Alright. Use the torch on what? On this torch. The torch burst into flames. I feel a mighty magic has been loose, but I can't tell what, York adds unhelpfully. Thanks, York. I'm glad that you can sense there's a magic. We really couldn't tell that there might be magic in a magical castle. Man, I'm glad I have your epic wisdom. Let's see, last one. The torch erupts into flames, like all the rest. Alright, what happens now? And... anything else? Oh wait, that just starts glowing. Um... So what about that? An indictive yet noble looking war has been carved into this sarcophagus. Can I open it? Oh god! Oh, that was a little not what I expected. When you open the tube, a horrific creature is released, letting out a piercing cry that cuts into your very being. It's a banshee, harboring your death. There's that death. And disease. You feel a momentary stabbing pain before the specter winks out of existence. Well, that wasn't really what I wanted to happen. So... What now? Let's see. That one just creaks open. Is there anything in there? I'll look real quick. You wonder if it's, it's like the this body wrapped in limbs is garled and twisted. You wonder if that would happen before or after the embalming process. What happens if I use my torch on it? It goes. Oh well. The ancient wrapping is quickly opened in flames as the mummy burns. A shield that was wrapped inside falls to the floor. Well, apparently I made the right decision. Cool. Go me. That was totally not planned. I'm gonna equip that shield. Now I got a helmet and a shield. Alright. I wonder. Can I equip this rock thing? Nope. You play around the sling. After a moment, you stop having grown bored. Alright. Let's see. I'll use this torch again and see if I can light this little fire. Let's see. Okay, the H wrappings are so dry that they almost disintegrate the flames. It burns a skull stumbles to the floor, along with a scroll. Good. More skulls. We need those, because I think the front door had saucer skulls, so... I just noticed it has a marking on it. I wonder if that means anything. More than likely it does. Let's take that scroll. Alright, let's look at it. Well, actually, i got to open it first. It's weird, like, most things are, you just have to click on them. This one can actually use the right commands. Alright, open the scroll. What kind of scroll is it? 
A drawing of a castle with a single tall spire in the center has been scrawled on this parchment. A single line points to the exact middle of the tower. The next is the words, three times right, then once, once pull down, twice past midnight, points the ruined crown. Light becomes dark. The king sits a throne. The masked one revealed shall mark the stone. All right. It's a riddle. I'm probably gonna forget forget this riddle. Well, hmm, not sure what that means. Except for this one. I think we're gonna save real quick before I do anything else. Cause one of these is probably gonna try to kill me if I do it wrong. Y'all like nothing's killed you yet, so why are you so worried? I'm like just precautions. I'm don't want to take a chance. Oh, there's a sword. Man, I, I like these bummies. I burn them up and they give me free stuff. Why can't everybody just give me free stuff? Let's see, can I equip this sword? No, I can't equip the sword. Oh wait, I gotta put use thyself on the sword. Use the sword on thyself. The thought of thrusting the sword in your belly has the immediate effect of giving you second thoughts. Well. Yeah, that's probably. Use yourself on the sword. Does that do anything? You test the edge of the blade with your finger. It fails to draw blood. Perhaps it's simply ornamental. Oh, you mean it's a sword that doesn't cut things? Well, well maybe it's useful on non solid objects, like certain weapons that are. Here, a movie I saw the, the, those weapons that was terrible on living things, but good against ghosts and things. I don't remember. Alright, ooh. I got a gold scepter. I got a gold scepter. Oh, it says amazing gold scepter in a leather sack fall to the ground, but that looks more like a more of an emerald or grayish scepter than a gold scepter. Let's see. Let's take the. Let's actually just, maybe I can just open the bag on the floor. It had a scroll in it. <laughs> Excuse me. Keep your eyes peeled, lad, mainly because your eye eyesight isn't as good as, y as it used to be. Okay, mine. Okay, your eyesight's not mine. I thought I'd say like you called me old. I'm the young guy apparently in this, this place. Let's see, what's this scroll have? Knowing it might be important, you carefully unroll the scroll. It's always a good thing to quickly unroll. The handwritten scroll is faded and difficult to read, but you can make out one passage. When Mahajal's tail lights, the northern skies, and the alignments are in apogee, I guess. Then shall the eagle appear, watched over by the all-seeing eye. The nourishment of water shall quench the tree, only two more be overrun by fire. Okay, so the tree will get some water, and then fire will kill it. So it'll be like, oh, this is terrible. So someone's not going to have a good day. Can I open this one right here? You can't try to open the crypt, however, it's fused shut. Well, I guess I can't do that. Let's see. I'll double check these. Maybe there's nothing else in here. Scratched and, and scrapes crisscross the insides of this tomb. You wonder what, the, what that pretends. I don't know. Maybe someone was stuck in there? Possibly. Let's see. Quickly manipulate air. Got it. Maybe if I can use a spell on one of these, that guy, maybe he'll do something. Doubtful, but you, oh, come on, use the spell on what? On that guy. You, except for, alright, nothing happens. It's good to know. Maybe the other spell will prove more useful. Yes! Well, apparently not. Nothing happens. Alright, is there anything else? Can I take these torches down that are lit? That would make sense, but nope. So, about that. Maybe I could open one of these again. Maybe there's a back entrance to one of them. Let's see. Nope. Apparently, I just gotta go back. Maybe something's changed. Oh, I should have saved real quick. Let's see, yes, the same battles before. Nothing else has changed. Save. 
Let's see, what else do I have new in my bag that might be helpful? So I got the skulls. Got a shield. And... huh. Nothing really else. I'm gonna open this door now. Oh! You know, I actually did expect that door to open since it opened last time, but apparently now I can go through it. I feel a mighty magic has been loose, but I can't tell what. Oh wait, when I did the torches that unlocked that door, that's probably what happened. That would make sense. Let's go here and find out what's going on. Ooh, it's... hmm. Within a large cavern, you find yourself on a shore, a shore of a placid underground lake. That's cool. Let's see, what's over here? A skeleton. It's hard to tell from this, but you think that you see a skeleton chained to a rock. No, that's obviously a skeleton chained to a rock. That's not more of a maybe, that's a more of a yeah, that's definitely that. Let's see. Is there anything here? I'm not really seeing anything that I can unlock. Let's see, let's look at that water. You sit something large and almost deep below the surface of those bleeds black waters. Probably my death is below those waters. More than likely. Let's go up these stairs. They shouldn't be dangerous, right? Famous last words. A magnificent waterfall cascades from the mouth of an ancient stone statue, painstakingly carved into the cave or cavern wall. Below it, an undulating mass of water hovers playfully above the river. Oh, how's that happen? Let's see. I kinda wish I could move the thing down farther, it kinda gets in the way. Just a little bit. Let's see. You. Look at you. Let's see. Tall waterfall catch you from the mouth of the statue card of the cavern. Yep. Let's see. How before you is empty made entirely of water and mist. The liquid and elemental it continuously forms and reforms in a hypnotic way. Let's see. Use. Torch. Okay, I only succeeded in getting splashed. Oh, and my torch is about to go out. Hmm. Let's see, that probably was a bad idea. I'm gonna light a new torch. Alright, fresh light. And is there something over here? I can't really tell. The only thing I like about these new visuals is that some of the things kind of blend in. Can't tell if they're actually just part of the background or not. Let's see, look at this. Oh, I saw something over here. Let's see, having cut a deep furrow into the rock of this parrot, underground river rushes past you into a large crevice. Let's see. Can anything in here help me out? Use the sword. On the white element, the water elemental. So you cut the element with a sword, only irritates the singularity. Well, that makes sense. I didn't really think that it would do much, but it was worth a shot. Let's see. Alright. Hmm. Maybe you do something. Nope, nope, nope. That's doing nothing actually at all. Let's see the take command could actually hit something over here. You can't take the waterfall. Yes, right. Can I go behind it? You trip try the pounding water from the sheer power it pushes you back. Okay, that's a no. You cannot go there. This let's see. This place doesn't look like anything I remember it. Oh, that's good to know, York. That's not very helpful still. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Huh. I guess I'll go back to the the one room. Maybe something will change in there too. I feel like I'm missing something. It's 
probably obvious, but I am just not seeing it. Let's see. I'm gonna save real quick. Are you sure you want to save? Yes, I do. Alright, let's go into here again. Back to the ice elemental. How's it going, buddy? Did you miss me? Let's see. Can I open this door now? Oh. Yes, I can open it, actually. I wonder if I could open it before. I just didn't pay attention to it. Let's go in. Oh! The smell of brimstone rises within the chamber as a pair of glowing eyes watch you ever move from the opening. Well. Huh. About that. Let's, uh. Let's open this. Yeah. Uh, well, that was a failure. You raise the wooden shield, intercept a blast of fire. Unfortunately, the wooden shield is no match for the base superheated breath. The fire hungrily spreads to your clothes, your hair, your flesh. In the mere moments, you are nothing more than a charred, lifeless husk. And it looks like we have we is our first is our first death. At least it waited into the second episode. Tis but a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Why, well, thank you, Mr. Reaper. I know it's very sad I mentioned here now, but don't worry, I'll be back. But that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down in the comments. If you like the content you see here, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to see more. And you all have a wonderful night. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.